Oh, things can never be easy, can they? Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem! The finale of Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem, and also a uh, re-recording of the finale because the one that came before this in the past... Yeah, it screwed up. I want to say, I want to just take this moment to apologize and say I am so sorry for the delay on the this video. Just work has been hell and also just been very busy and also the fact that I had to redo this whole level in its entirety because... Well, for some reason, the recording seemed fine, but when I went to process it for editing, it, it just started like stuttering all over the place. Like, it would play for like a second, then freeze. Then another second, then freeze. So the video like... What was supposed to be like a, I think it was like a 15, 30 minute video turned into like a 50 minute, almost said a 50 hour video. That would be hell to render. But anyways, we are back for Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Our goal is to capture Selena because it turns out she has been the true evil behind everything. She has released a bunch of new enemies uh, from the Tome of Doom. It are these fire ghosts, this, this really, really stupid fire ghost, might I add. Now the fire ghost... Okay, well, being an unimaginative enemy design, I do like the fact that they actually change, like, the enemy dynamic. We can't capture them because we don't have their page, but as you saw, he went through water, like an idiot, and he turned back into a normal ghost, so we actually can capture him now. Why he would be willing to go anything that would make him vulnerable to the book, I have no idea. Uh, we got a couple of wisps over here, we got Velma over here... And we believe that the last clue is right over here. Yep, right in the path. You can't miss it. And before we head back to... Well, we head out to chase Selena. We have to stop the moment to process all the clues that we have. I don't remember if I actually did this. This has actually been, like, I'd say about maybe one or two weeks after the fact of the last recording or the failed attempt at this. So, if so, you can skip this, but if not, then we can just uh, go over the clues that we have collected. There's a file named Project Alpha on the disk, but it's encrypted. How do you encrypt a floppy disk? Those things are ancient. They shouldn't be anything to encrypt on them. This is a note from Selena Drake, reminding all employees to turn off their portable radios during Project Alpha tests. Okay. Don't know what radios have to do with anything. A list. This is a list of people who have undergone some kind of test. Most are marked successful, but a few are marked serious complications. I bet it was mind control. And aliens! Alright, how about a melted fire extinguisher? Something really hot must have melted this fire extinguisher. It's unlikely a normal fire would have done such damage. What about spooky ghost fire? I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be like a hint that she released a few fire ghosts to test it and they set the fire extinguisher on fire and a geographical map this is a map showing the placement of sherman tech's giant antennas throughout north america wow uh california and texas are really getting hit hard like why is it that those two okay i guess they're big states so it would make sense but why they just get like they every state well most other states get a bunch of antennas and also the no northeast is getting hit really hard with the antennas like they, they got like four or five so close together. I don't get why Texas has one and just not place it like right dead center of it. California, I understand because it's in a weird position. But anyways, that's all our clues. We still got, no, not the book to open. We still got two pieces of food. We need to get onions and steak. The steak is actually pretty easy if you know exactly where it is. Well, yeah, that goes without saying. But the onions are kind of weird and kind of stupid. Kind of like how one of the foods back in Chapter 1 you were supposed to get is. But we're not going to get in the onions until like, near the very end of the game. But for now, just got to collect all the enemies. Now, uh, along with the ghosts that are out here, we, the zombies have also become released. So we have to capture them as well. Just get you back away before he does his breath attack, and he is ours. I could really go for a fountain right about now. Oh, I guess I don't have, really have anything to worry about. Ah, and there's the fountain. Alright, I guess that's everything. And I probably should have grabbed those Scooby Snacks back in the other room, but eh, I think I can handle it. Now, people might think that the fire ghosts are just a carbon copy of the regular ghost, and 
Okay, you're kind of right at one point. They are basically just a carbon copy of the regular ghost, but they actually do have a different uh, way of attacking you, which is just as annoying. Uh, instead of, like, flying towards you and trying to, like, attack... I guess it's like a tackle or whatever. Uh, they throw fireballs at you and actually are kind of powerful and kind of annoying because they throw, like, two or three at a time, especially with one particular ghost, which is in one of the worst positions to fight him in. Excuse me, zombie. But I will have to deal with that when I get there. Also, something to note, the zombies in here have changed from the ones in the containment field, even though the containment field is up, so how did they escape? I don't know. But if you remember back in the containment field, one of them was like the Civil War zombie, one of them was the Farmer zombie, and also one was the boss from the last chapter, but for some reason they swapped it out for like the female zombie. I guess they... I don't, I don't know why. It, it, it always bugged me of how like, okay, we're gonna put the boss in the, in the room in there, not the female zombie, but we're gonna swap them out when we release them. Also, we get to scale that zombie down just a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean by, like, by five feet. Alright, I'll just capture you. You took the liberty of just making yourself vulnerable to me. Nope! I don't know if we actually see any green ghosts in here. I think it's all blue ghosts and zombies. Speaking of zombies. I still just love the fact that the zombies just literally fall to pieces as they get sucked into the book. That's something I actually do like about this game is that each enemy has like a unique capture animation. Like the, the ghost like spins itself into the book and like gets like pulled in, the dust devil like like uh, sucks itself right into the book, the mummy gets unwrapped into the book, the zombie just falls to pieces. There's the exit. And is this the ghost I was thinking of? Nope. We still got a ways to go. And Scooby needs to go on his own for here. Thankfully, all the steam is gone. Okay, I guess I'll just take the zombie ghost. Could you do me a favor and go have a shower? Being dead probably makes you reek like hell. Thank you very much. I'm not going to be able to capture you. I probably should have went back to the fountain. Well, not yet, but we will be getting food pretty soon, Shaggy. There we go, that should be enough energy. Back through the pipe! Oh, get you your food! Just hold on! I gotta capture this dead guy. Not today! Now, the steak, if you... I guess that would be what it is. It's steak, meat, whatever. Slab of meat. But in all reality, it is steak. It's inside the room where you got, where you had to pilot the robot into. All that leaves is the onions, and we will have collected everything for the level. I was expecting the audience to laugh, but I forgot this isn't Night of a Hundred Frights. You know, the game where they laugh at literally everything you do in that game. I need to play that game again. It's been too long. I got a zombie. Also, I think that's like the la one of the last things like Casey Kasem was in before he passed away. Or like it was his last time at Shaggy. Excuse me, Fire Ghost. Could you please come over here, would you? Thank you, you are incredibly stupid. I'm not even gonna have enough to capture him. It's gonna be close! Close, but no cigar. Just need one piece of energy. And also, not for you to ambush me when I get you, and he probably transformed back into his. Nope. Okay, now he has. I don't. Where'd he go? Okay. Okay, he was just going back to take another shower for me. Thank you. Wow, the enemies in this run are actually being much more generous in, than the last run. Because, for some odd reason, the ghosts refuse to go into the sprinklers, even though you try to kite them in. And, man, look at me using those MLG gamer terms, kiting. 
Um, yeah, but for some reason, they just avoided the water like the plague. But here, it's like, let's all take showers. Right. Now, this seems like the room that I'm probably going to show off a mechanic that we actually haven't shown off in the main LP. And that's what happens if you run out of health. I probably should have grabbed... Oh, wait, there's some Scooby Snacks in there I can just grab. Oh, God. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this, but I know it's probably going to happen when we get to, like, the end of the game and also all that. But the fact that this room is pretty cramped would uh, have made me think that we were going to get it. Also, the ghosts have not been throwing fireballs at me. But what happens if you run out of health, you actually do not fail instantly. Uh, unless you're, like, alone in that case. Uh, instead, you will go into a panic mode, and what will happen is, like, Scooby and Shaggy jump into each other's arms, they just run around crazy all throughout the level, and, like, some wacky music plays. If you can actually avoid getting hit while in that mode, it actually gives you a second chance to, you know, capture all the enemies and find some Scooby snacks to heal up. So, the game isn't entirely evil, just mostly evil. Okay, like, 60% evil. 55. I still like this game, but it's still evil at times. You all know what I'm talking about. Like, stuff like that. Okay, okay, listen here, buddy. You need to get into this book. Also, you. You can, you can join him. I hear it's the die for. Oh, God. Alright, I'm going to be smart and actually collect a full set of energy for the book this time. There we go. Shoot. I could really go for some Scooby Snacks right about now as well. Oh god, this is the room! Okay, so this goes. The, you gotta lure him to the sprinkler right in the middle of the room. The only problem is he doesn't like to do that. He mostly likes to stay by the door unless... Yep, he's just flying back. Hey buddy, you wanna come over here? Oh no. Okay, we're in panic mode now, so I actually do get a chance to show it. I need to avoid that door because I actually will take damage if I go near it. Hey, buddy. Want to come over here and take a nice, refreshing shower? Come on. Come on. I dare ya. Thank you. Alright. Avoid! Oh, I hate that hallway. It's such an awkward place to fight that guy, and they know what they were doing when they put him there. Oh, God. Also, they knew what they were doing when they spun a ghost right next to you when you load into the other room. But when I'm actually going to the shower, thank you. I will capture you. I just need to avoid the other one's fireballs. Alright. Dodge you. I see the Scooby Snacks. I want those snacks. Mine. Oh, Scooby Snacks are full heal? I always thought they were just, like, up to half health. Well, so much for that full heal. Um, ghost? Oh, there you are. Oh, I'm out of energy. That's why I couldn't capture him. Okay, buddy, listen here. We need to have a talk. I've had about enough of your crap. Come on, be stupid. Be stupid. Thank you. And good night. Oh, there goes all the snacks and health I just got. Do I actually have full energy this time? Yes, I do. Maybe there's some health in the foyer. I could really go for that health. Well, there's a camera and there's some health. Thank you. I will take that and then I will capture you because I do not want to have to deal with you. This should be the last room before we get into, like, the final stretch of the game. And just suck you up. Did he just drop his head? Hey, buddy, I know you're dead and all, but there's no reason to lose your head about it. Uh <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Uh, I'm a horrible person. All right. 
I want to save right here and uh, just ignore the Sherman Tech grounds. We're just going to save over that because nothing never happens on those grounds. No, totally. And that wasn't from the failed save. Or the failed run, I guess. Well, I guess technically it would be a failed save as well. But whatever. Uh, which way was it? I think it was this way. Yep. Any sign of Selena Drake? There she is, up on the roof. <laughs> Let it go, Selena. It's over. My dear Travis, did you really believe I got you into this in order to sell VCRs? There's only one goal worthy of my genius. With the Alpha Wave Modulator, I shall rule the world! <laughs> She's completely mad. Well, duh. Prepare to face the Tome of Doom's most powerful spirit. Oh, King of Fire, share my vengeance! Ah, uh, yes. The most powerful creature the Tome of Doom has ever con conjured. A giant fire ghost. You guys go and catch the fire ghost's attention. I'll try to reverse the antenna's polarity and make it rain. Like this looks like a sprinkler handle, Scoob. Evade fireballs while Velma reverses the antenna's polarity. Alright, so here it is, the final boss of the game, the King of Fire, which is just another giant version of an enemy we have already faced. Yeah, I kind of liked it when we were just fighting guys in costumes and stuff, it, it was more like a Scooby-Doo tradition thing, but here just being the last three bosses of the game, just giant versions of enemies that we've fought already, kind of feels kind of lazy, but whatever. Now, for the last piece of food that we need to get, see those two fire ghosts over there? Yeah, we need to capture both of them. Once we capture them both, the onions will appear. And trust me, I'm going to be doing a lot of crying to get them. Hey, buddy. Ow. As you can see, the, go the fire ghost and the king of fire are really, really annoying to fight. Thankfully, if you just keep running while in panic mode, they will never hit you. Just grab a couple Suvi snacks for a little bit of health, and now if those two can be stupid... Oh wow, just as I say that, they both go into the sprinkler. I guess it would make more sense to actually open up three of the four sprinklers before we try to capture these guys, because... It'll make it easier for them to capture, and it'll give them less room to uh, transform back into their fire forms. All right, come on, right here, right here, right down the middle. Thank you. I'll take those Scooby Snacks. And we'll open up the sprinkler. All right, right here, right down the middle. Thank you. I'll just turn that on. Come on, come on, yes, gotcha. All right, that's one. Now I just need to avoid the fireballs. All right, one goes down. Now we just gotta capture the other one and we are golden. Come here, come here, gotcha. Ha ha. Uh-oh, come on, close to the fountain. Oh, jeez. All right, come on, dodge the fireballs. And he already transformed back into his fire form. Yes, he did. Hey, Selena, you want to stop mugging? Thanks. Oh, jeez. As you can see, she is really proficient in mugging. Wow, he does a lot of damage. I forgot how much damage the, the campfire does. Alright, that was kind of weird. I was moving up on the control stick, but it was registering me going down. Alright, nope, that is not the right ghost I want, but I might as well... Of course I'm out of mojo. I'm always out of mojo. It's like it's automatically draining over time now. I can't stand in one place to collect mojo because if I do, then I get ca get pelted in the face by a fireball. Alright, both ghosts captured, and as you can see, the 
the onions just plink right into existence. Now that we've gotten that and was actually not as annoying as it was in the failed recording, we can head over here and have him open up the path for us to get to the last sprinkler. Alright. Right here. Right down the middle. That was too soon. Oh, thank you for helping. Thank you very much. And now you are all wet. <laughs> I am now vulnerable, and you can capture me. It will. <laughs> I will still come out victorious. Yeah, I don't know why he's laughing. He's literally now vulnerable, and we can now capture him. Okay, maybe if he does something like that, he has a reason to laugh. But now the fact that we switch uh, the thing, um, all the snacks have respawned. So there should be literally no reason why we can't fail this fight. He basically just plays like a... Why am I losing mojo so fast? That's so weird. It never runs out this fast. Ole! Come on, Toro, Toro. Right here, right here. Right down the middle. Ole! Shaggy, I need to use your, your green shirt. It's not a red cape, but it will have to do. Alright, come on. Right into the book. Dodge you. Okay, this is starting to get a little ridiculous. You, you mind uh, going away? Go into this nice little book. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. No! This cannot be! Let me go! Blast you meddling kids! Shaggy, Scooby, I want to thank you both for your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Like it wasn't easy, you know. We've been attacked by ghosts, shadows, mummies. Zombies? Aw. Oh, would some Scooby Snacks make it all better? Scooby, Scooby Snacks! How did you... I did my homework. Hey! What gives? Hmm, using the Tome of Doom to snatch away snacks. Now that's one for the books. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> <laughs> Who wears brown pants with a black suit? That's just tacky. Alright, well, three, four, five clues. New game art has been unlocked. One. Two, three, four, five food! Ah, ah, ah! And since I already unlocked the minigame, uh, there was no. It didn't show the message, but whatever. But there you go, Shaggy. Oh, now it shows up. There you go, Shaggy. You finally got your sandwich. Are you happy now? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem has been completed. And I'm going to say, even though some points of this game haven't aged very well, it still was a pretty enjoyable experience. I'm going to say, it was... I would say the nostalgic glasses were pretty heavy for this LP, but I still had fun doing it. And as you can see, Jennifer Hale as the poltergeist will never let that go! Also, Jennifer Hale was as someone else. I did not see because the credits went by too fast, but whatever. Um... Yeah, this is still a pretty enjoyable game when it comes down to it. I like it a bit more than Night of 100 Frights. I haven't played Unmasked, so honestly, I do not know how it compares to that. Cyber Chase is its own thing, which... 
it, it was a generation behind, so I only counted if it was like in this generation. So the big three Scooby Doo games that came out for like the Xbox, GameCube, PS2 era. And I'm gonna have to substitute this music in because uh, I do not want this video to get hit by a copyright again. But anyways, where does that leave us now? Well, this isn't gonna be the last Scooby Doo video. I'm gonna have one more coming out in a day, maybe two, day or two after this video goes up, which might go up tomorrow from this recording or the day after. But it's basically just gonna be like bonus stuff. I wanna show off what you get for getting all the clues, for all the snacks, for all the completing like all the levels and stuff. It'll be enjoyable, maybe, possibly, I don't know. I also wanted to take the liberty to say I am sorry I could not complete this game before Halloween came by, just everything was going haywire at that time, which is also kind of why Huntober for this year kind of had to go to the wayside. Also the fact that I lost one of the games for uh, Huntober and I could not find it in time. So that's sad. But I do have something planned to make up for it in 2018, so you'll just have to have that to look forward to. Anyways, New Vegas will be going back up in possibly a week after this video goes up. I need a little bit of time to finish uh, work on Honest Arts and then also work on Old World Blues as it gets started. And hopefully New Vegas will be done by the end of the year, possibly. I kind of really want to work towards that and just the fact that recording time is going to be diminished significantly as the end of November and mostly through December comes around. So with what time I have, I'm going to devote to recording and getting like as much New Vegas pumped out as I can. But until then, I will all have to see you guys next time. I hope you all enjoyed Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. I hope you all enjoyed my somewhat subpar gameplay of it. I hope it left a good impression on you, and hey, if you ever find it, feel free to check it out and play it for yourself. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later!